Great start to Tina Clayton's rookie indoor 2023 season. Plus, Flavor of Philly is on the hunt. And Abby Steiner sets a new national record and world lead in the 300 meters. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. And if this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you know in the next video drops, you drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit that like button and finally leave your thoughts. So, when you're ready for another multifaceted video, we've got a great one for you. So hang around to hear what Tina Clayton has been up to. First up, Abby Steiner. As we predicted at the Milrose Games, does it again. She seems unstoppable and unbeatable, this time in the women's 300 meters at the Armory, known as the Fast Track. She set a new national record for the United States as well as a new world leading time in the 300 meters and looked spiffy doing it. Abby Stein, I keep telling us a real deal, people. We do not follow hype. We follow the stats. Abby Stein has set a new world leading time and national record time in the 300 meters of 35.54 with America's Brittany Brown coming second in 36.13 and Leah Anderson of Jamaica. Jamaica land we love. Came third running a time of... 36.68, a new personal best, by the way, for her, ahead of the American Jan, Jan, Jenna Pandini. Oh my gosh, people forgive me. Running 38.05, a season's best for her. Now, it was a pleasant surprise to see Leah Anderson doing her do in this particular tournament. And Steiner did as we predicted. Listen, you know the yard is, we know we're always strong, we are always there. Take a gander at half of the race. You know, copyright, we can't show you the whole race. Keep telling you, Abby Steiner is a real deal. She's a threat. Take her seriously. She has been basically, she, actually, she's been unbeaten since she started her indoor season. And I know someone said earlier, very, very good comment that normally they don't run as well outdoors. The fact is, though, Abby Steiner is a reverse. She continuously does extremely well outdoors and actually does better outdoor, outdoors than she does indoors. And I'm going to keep saying it again. She's now a pro. This is her. I think this is her rookie. Yeah, this is her rookie year, her first year as a pro. She will not be running no 77 races or 80 races or 70 or 60 races. Take her seriously. Next up, Flavor of Philly of, S of LSU. Forgive me. Well, she turned it up once more. This time, the Tigers superstar set an LSU record. A world leading time, a collegiate leading time, a personal best, and is now ranked number three in collegiate history in the 200 meters, of course, at the Tyson Invitational running 22.36, and she looked super impressive doing so. And Morgan Smalls in the high jump and clearance there. We have long read of Philly and Diggs on the track. Trying to beat Flannel, uh, Flannel's 23.05, Owen's been 23.07. Wilson of Nebraska up in the shot put, and the LSU Tiger, wow, O'Feely, she just puts it out there, 22. Now, this is why you clicked on the video. Tina Clayton, people, is on fire. In her rookie year, her first year as a pro, and running in her very, very, very first indoor event as far as i'm aware of as a pro um this of course was at the tyson invitational wow people she looked really really good in the finals of the 60 meter dash tina came third winning a time of 7.38 slower than what she ran in the preliminaries and this time she ran behind Natasha Morrison, who ran 7.30 to take second. And the same Jada Baylark ran of the United States ran 7.23 to win. But in my opinion, it looked to me, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm hoping and wishing, 
But it looked to me as if Tina Clayton was not running anywhere near as hard. And she seemed to have slowed down a good 10 meters out from the line in a 60 meter dash. Look at the race and tell me what you think. I mean, is it my imagination? But I'm pretty sure that's what happened here. Look, people, it's not my imagination. She slowed down. She she slowed down. In fact, she doesn't look as if she was giving it any real effort. She ran much more consistently and harder in the first round, which is in the preliminaries. Take a look at what she did there when she ran from the back of the pack, came second, beating the great Natasha Morrison, uh, the other remarkable Shakura Wallace, and others. Watch. This was in the prelims yesterday in the women's 60-meter dash at the Tyson Invitational. Tina Clayton's very, very first, by the way, very first indoor event as a pro, very first 60 meter dash as a pro. Watch. I neglected to say, by the way, go watch the previous video on this. You got full coverage. She ran 7.24 7 in that instance. Natasha Morrison ran 7.34. Uh, Strawn of, of the Bahamas ran 7.45. In this race, Tina Clayton in the preliminaries was running out of lane number three. Go back and look at the race on um, the finals. I'm telling you, she shut down 10 to 15 meters out of that line in a 60 meter dash. That's very odd. And ran a significantly slower time and looked as if she was just going through the motions. This girl is a beast, people. I don't know, maybe management told her, you don't need to run yourself too hard. It's all good. You did what you needed to do in the preliminaries. I have no idea. I mean, of course, at this point, I'm simply speculating. But you go back and tell me if this is my imagination. You could say maybe I'm too much of a fan of Tina Clayton. But I'm telling you, she did not look as if she was making any effort. She got a poor start in that final. And then 15 minutes, 15 meters, apparently, a pardon, outside of the line, that 60 meter dash, she just stopped running. She just walked through the line, basically. Um, kudos and congrats to Natasha Morrison for that 7.30 really really nice season's best so far big fan um, and let's see what the future holds for this remarkable Tina Clayton people <laughs> Tina Clayton is a real deal I don't want to put too much pressure on this young lady but I looking at her performance so far I don't think she's gonna have much of an issue transitioning into a pro I think she's gonna do much better than we expect Certainly much better than we here at Peter Lloyd World Expect. Now, don't get me wrong. I know she's a super talent, but even super talents tend to, um, <clears throat> they tend to be an adjustment period from going from amateur to pro, but that preliminary was amazing. And even this race, she was jogging and she ran 7.38. Now, that's not a great time, um, but it's a good enough time. She ran 7.24 in the preliminary. So 7.24 and 7.38 are miles apart. And I'm telling you, she stopped running. You tell me if I am wrong, okay? Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the like button. Remember, you're royals, kings and queens. Bless up.